Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's Thursday, it's rewards day. A lot of you guys are claiming your rewards today and you're getting on the market with a lot more coins, opening packs. Um, and as you're doing that, and after you're doing that, I want you guys, uh, well, you're here, you're watching this video. So I wanna talk about a few things um, based on some things that I saw in the market today, making some coins in August. If you're out there and you still wanna make some coins, I had this random desire today to try to trade. And that is exactly what I did. You can see I have 53 items on the transfer list right now, 51 sold items. Um, so basically this is what I did today. I wanna to take a look at some of these things and it pertains to SBC cards. Now you see a lot of Alexander Arnold's here. I bought those because of VVD. Most of them, most of these I, I bought for like 170 to 180K and sold them for around 200,000 coins. So most of the time it was like 10K profit per card, somewhere in that range. So it wasn't the best investment for the links. Uh, this might go up today with rewards better um, than it did just in a couple days, but obviously there were con there's packs that are released every day at 6 p.m. UK on the drop time. So that is really where I wanted to focus my trading today, and I kind of wanted to see if this worked. And I looked at some graphs today before the 6 p.m. drop, um, and I was able to make some moves accordingly right after that. So I want to talk about what I did today. Uh, but first of all, I want to talk about the current situation in the market as you're watching this video. Rewards are out. Um, I'm recording this before rewards. So you're probably like, yo, um, those prices don't look correct to how they are right now. Well, I'm recording this before rewards. So you, you might see some of these prices even lower right now, depending on if you're watching this video right when it comes out. This video will go live right after rewards will. Um, so you can probably see some differences in price with these cards on the market. And basically what I tell what I want to tell you guys is this is the, the situation that we're about to have after rewards right now is the same situation that we had earlier today at 6 p.m. UK. So what happened at 6 p.m. UK today was we got the footies voting day SBC, which gives out a 45,000 coin pack for 9,000 9, coins. Very easy SBC to do. Everybody does it. Um, and also what we got today was the footies vote. You saw me vote for Milinkovic Savage. And then we had PFA Player of the Year, Virgil van Dyke, which is only 470,000 coins and is the main SBC that people would be working on right now. Maybe an icon upgrade as well. So this is a repeatable that's out right now that requires higher rateds that causes some demand. And same thing with this PFA Player of the Year. There's a lot of people doing that SBC. So that is why I invested accordingly today. Now what you're going to see on my transfer list here is you're going to see a lot of Demir Bay. So basically what I did today, you see a lot of these sell for like 38, 39,000 coins. We're going to go over here to Demir Bay's graph on the web app. This is Demir Bay's team of the season card, 93 rated. So basically this is what we're looking at. I looked at the, today at 1 p.m. UK, I looked at this graph from Tuesday and I saw this. The, the SBC came out and he was, you know, he was around 40,000 coins for most of the night in Tuesday heading into the middle of the day. Um, and then yeah, today this happened. So basically I saw he was 44,000 coins the morning after Van Dyke came out um, and he was pretty high up there. And today when that pack came out at uh, at one at 6 p.m. UK, look, he dropped down to 32. So basically what I did today was I saw the same trend happen right here. Um, on Wednesday or on Monday, he was about 30,000 coins bumped up here to 39, 40K. And then with the VVD SBC coming out right here in this time frame, he went back up to like 43, 44,000 coins. And with that icon SBC out, there is demand for 93 rated team of the season cards because you have a team of the season requirement and you have a higher rated requirement in that icon upgrade SBC, which a lot of people are doing, and in that VVD SBC, which people are completing as well. So that's why this type of investment worked. And you saw the graphs that I was looking at over here. This is why I went for this card. He was one of the cheapest 93 rated cards in the game, which I think he still is. So this is an important thing for a few reasons. He gets good links, he's Bundesliga, he's German, and he's in a lot of solutions. If you go onto the squad building challenge tab and you look at player of the year Van Dyke, let's say you look at this squad right here, the 147,000 coin squad, get Demir Bay now. You see Demir Bay here is one of the pictures. Um, I saw him in a couple of the other ones. Demir Bay quick. So he's in solutions, which is good. That helps us know that we can 
count on people using his card for packs. So basically what happened today, that 45k pack SBC came out, which is a lot of cool, um, a lot of packs entering the market for a very easy uh, price. This card's drop rate is very high in game, and he's very useful for SBCs. So I bought, I think I have like 21 of these Demir Bay cards. I bought them all for 29 to 31,000 coins, somewhere in that range. And you can see I sold them for probably on average about 39, 38 and a half thousand coins. Most of them sold for 38 to 9, 39k. So I made like eight to nine K per card. After tax, you're talking like seven to eight K per card, which is pretty solid. Um, times that by 20, multiply that out. I mean, it was it was a pretty solid, pretty solid little investment just to uh, to make some coins, you know? So what I wanted to let you guys know is that you can still do this. The link investing I did here with the Alexander Arnolds, I didn't make as many coins on them um, just because, you know, I don't know if, if you have VVD in your team and you did the SBC, you're probably replacing one version of VVD with the untradeable one that was cheaper with the packs. So that's why I don't think Alexander Arnold went up that much. He might go up more after rewards. Um, but watch these team of the season cards again today after rewards. Like right now, if you're watching this video when it goes live early in the morning, um, American time, USA time, and, and morning time UK, look at some of these higher rated TOTS cards. Scroll through my favorite page on Footbin over here, the cheapest players by rating. Scroll through this page right here and take a look at some of these cards. Take a look at the 94s, take a look at the 93s, look at their price graphs and see if they're low. 93, 000, 93 rated uh, cards down around 30K and under, um, especially for the guys that are used in, in SBCs. That's a pretty cheap price. Even down here for these 94s, like lower than 40K is getting pretty cheap. If you see them at 35, a lot of these cards do bounce back up throughout the day. Um, and even that 95 rates, 44,000 coins for trap is pretty cheap. So um, if you see some of these lower prices right after rewards, if you're watching this video right now, it might be a decent time to hop on them. If you're wanting to make some coins, people are gonna be doing SBCs. Probably some people are waiting to see what they get from rewards to give them the funds to do, go do another icon upgrade or to do the VVD SBC. And then um, this is also gonna be a good time to do a club stock of those higher rated um, team of the season cards and the higher rated cards as well, because um, we're gonna get more footies SBCs. Obviously today we had the vote for the Florenzi, the Draxler and the Malinkovic Savage. And we're probably gonna have another vote on Thursday today when you guys are watching this video so depending on who that vote is, you can kind of gauge the demand and what interest there could be for uh, for an SBC, a like footies SBC that would come out on Friday or Saturday. Now for Milinkovic Savage, I think that's going to be a decent SBC. If Florenzi wins, that will be a decent SBC as well because it will link to the new Juan Jesus card. So basically whatever goes with that SBC, there'll probably be a decent amount of uh, demand there for that SBC. Just in, like hopefully EA makes it a valuable SBC, good requirements, and they boost the card a ton. That's the main requirement there. Um, but you know, whatever, if you see today, Thursday, the footies voting player that they drop at 6 p.m. UK, if it's a freaking sick vote, like if we have really high level players in there, maybe like five star skillers. I know some people have said that they would like to see like maybe Vinicius, um, getting a footies card, I don't know who else they could put in there, but maybe a five-star skiller selection or some other type of good player selection would be a pretty hype SBC uh, for footies. Then I would say definitely go through, do a club stock anyway. We're probably gonna get some packs again at some point this weekend, but you can always go the safe route and do a club stock because whatever SBC they could put out, they could put out flashback Alexandro uh, because we don't have any flashbacks in the store right now if I do think I am correct on that. I think Ibra has expired. I think all of our flashbacks, we have Ribery, we have Goretzka and VVD player of the year. So it's about time for them to re-release another flashback, I think. And I would say that Alexandro might be the next flashback. So if you are thinking that that could be possible as well, maybe look at some of your investing for uh, Fabian or DePaul, 29,000 coins for a 92 rated Tots especially with this guy who's very linkable and usable in teams and in game as well. Uh, you look at his graph, you see, boom, today at when the SBC dropped, 27,000 coins. So watch this card after rewards. If you see 27K, you, you can tell here, he got up to 35K in a little bit of the hype right there. So you, you might see this guy rebound back to 35K with 
SBC demand and people actually buying this card for the weekend league teams. Um, and then Thursday flipping in general, I know it's kind of late, um, but if you're going to flip some cards, I would honestly say, look at some of these TOTS cards that are usable, that are almost the cheapest in their rating. DaCosta is a right back, 29,000 coins. DePaul, Fabiano, very usable cards that are down here at that very cheap price. One other one I was reminded of is Savonier. A lot of people like that card. Um, and Lala as well, 50,000 coins for the right back Lala card. Team of the season Lala, 50K, which is discard. Um, he can't literally can't go any lower. I mean, this is a discard investment for you, basically. Not saying it could go up. Um, but I'm just saying that that is there and that is a possibility um, for maybe a Thursday flip action type thing. You know, you're like, why are you doing Thursday flipping and trying to make coins right now at this point, at this stage in the game? There's always people that are trying to make coins. I was trying to make coins today so that I could afford and actually have a little bit of leftover money after I bought this player right here. And you see, I have a new striker in the club. His name is Cristiano Ronaldo. Second owner sniped him fresh for 3.2 million coins. He is fresh, zero games played. Um, so I'm very, very happy. Uh, thanks to my man John uh, for that card. He packed it first owner um, and he said, yo, you want this? And so he listed it up at a, at a, at a decent price. Sorry, EA, if you're listening. But um, I was super stoked to get that car today at that price. I probably will not sell that for the rest of the year. He's probably just going to make it in my team and he's going to be staying there. Um, but, you know, maybe a card like this rises with weekend league, after weekend league rewards. You know, I think you might see a little bit of a rise in some of those cards, especially because um, this promo seems to be kind of close to the end. I mean, we have one week of these cards being in packs. These are our last footies votes. We're not getting the 81 plus packs, it seems. And... Um, I mean, this is like the last chance. Actually, if you think about it, the weekend league rewards this weekend will not contain the, will not be out next week when the footies cards will be in packs. So the footies batch three will be over when weekend league rewards come out next week. So I'm probably going to play a little bit of weekend league this weekend, um, but we'll see what they do for rewards. We'll obviously probably have the tots rewards still in, in packs, but it is going to be a little bit different without those same cards back in packs, unless they just throw literally the best card of every, unless they do something different uh, is basically what I'm going to say, but I don't envision that happening exactly. But again, I do, I did want to touch on this today because there are plenty of ways to make coins right now in August of this game. This Demir Bay was a great example and basically I did the same thing with Serge Aurier, 29,000 coins. I bought all of these for 22 to 23K and Jared Moreno, I bought all of these for four, 13 to 14,000 coins. So basically what you can do is, again, just go over here to Cheapest Players by Rating. Look at the guys that have good links and nations. I saw Gerard Moreno at 14K, 13K today when that uh, voting day SBC dropped. So again, just look the stock up on all of the cheap, very linkable, and usable SBC cards that are that are special versions. I'm going to I'm gonna say look at the special versions. You can stock up and do a club stock on the gold as well. But if you're looking to buy a few of one player and invest in a player... I would say focus on team of the season cards because they're being required a lot right now in SBCs. And I would focus on maybe some, uh, you know, focus on linkable players, but maybe see if you can go for some, some Serie A because you know that we're going to have the Milinkovic, Savage, or Florenzi probably win the footies voting SBC. There might be a Serie A requirement in there. And then, of course, if you have Alexandro's flashback that is purely speculative, but uh, we did kind of call the VVD player of the year. I had a feeling they were going to re-release one of those two SBCs, and they did. So maybe look at some Serie A players in here. Zapata, 17K for an 88 rated headliner. Maybe take a look at that one. Mancini, if you see this at like 12K for an 87 rated, I would say it's a, that's a big time buy in my opinion. Uh, anybody else? Piatek is a 91 rated. If you see that at like 22, 23K, I think Fabian might be my favorite as a 92 rated card very linkable if you have mertens i mean you literally need this card to get a green link to mertens and get some other sort of link in your team and yeah if you look at the graphs if you see them at 25 26 000 coins that looks to be a pretty huge buy for me and you see out of the last couple days his lowest point has been right around the 6 p.m 7 p.m mark um for for these cards because there's packs that come out at that time but 
The lowest point for a lot of these cards is going to be right before you watch this video, and you're going to want to go and check right now on the market using those that cheapest players by rating SBC tab to go see what their prices are after weekend league rewards and just kind of watch their, their prices all day, man, because um, obviously if they do drop a sick SBC in the middle of the day, uh, those prices are going to trend up. And I do think people are going to start completing league SBCs, or not league SBCs, the Icon SBC and the VVD SBC. People will probably try to chip away at those or do those SBCs after they get their weekend league rewards. It's something that people like to do in this game. They get their rewards they kind of evaluate their their options with what they can do with those coins that that they got from rewards and a lot of times people wait for rewards to go use those coins and to do SBCs. so look for some of those cards obviously there's a ton of cards on the market that are going to be good to invest in to do a club stock with but this is the last week for SBCs as a part of footies promo um and hopefully we end this thing with a bang hopefully they re-release some sick SBCs. That they haven't already they've been doing a good job they really have been doing a decent job with footy so far in terms of like the sbc content wise i've been impressed i've been happy with it so and this is also like the last time if you have it somebody you want to buy for your team a moments card an icon me like with this cristiano ronaldo um make sure you go out and get that card and end your fifa ultimate team at fifa 19 year with a bang have fun with these last couple of weeks footies is almost over we'll see what comes next um, but I did want to kind of present to you, uh, just talk about what I did today with trading and, um, possibly how you can make some coins in this last week of footies. If you're still looking to complete an SBC, if you're still looking to complete some type of, uh, something that you need coins for, uh, part of my motivation for trading today was getting back up, um, on the top 100 leaderboards. I was down in 100th earlier today at 79 million. 100,000 and we're almost to 79.5 so yeah that does feel good I'm gonna be honest and say that it feels good to be moving back up the leaderboards a little bit uh, but the itch for trading definitely is not back it was just something that I wanted to do uh, today so if you guys are still out there trading in August GG's to you I'm really not that TP number has not moved at all except for packing players and selling them in the past couple of months but I wanted to bring you this video today because Believe it or not, it is popular, or it is, uh, you have the ability to make coins in August on FIFA Ultimate Team, um, and the best way to do that is through SBC requirements and some of these very low-rated TOTS, and this is probably going to be the last chance for some of those Team of the Season cards to get a huge supply on the market, so rewards today, um, do a club stock for sure. That's another reason to do a club stock. If you want to do SBCs in the next couple of weeks when you're bored on FIFA and you have nothing to do, um, and you're not taking a break from the game. Stock up on some of those TOTS cards because they're not going to be in packs, most likely, unless they change something. And then you'll have those cards as they as they rise out of packs again. And as people are kind of getting off the game and you still want to do an SBC or two, you will have those cards in the club. But again, don't make fun of me for trading in August. I'm sure not a lot of people are going to want to watch this video and say, yo, I'm trying to make coins in August. Um, but it's just a way to stay sharp as well. Like I'm not used to trading with SBC requirements like this. But I noticed a trend, I read the graph, and we executed it perfectly today with D Demir Bay, with Arier, with Jared Moreno. Um, that was perfect. That was honestly a really nice way to make some coins today, even if it was in small chunks. You know, 8 to 10k a card on a 30,000 coin card is pretty solid profits, especially if I had tw if, uh, if since I had 20 of them. That's an investment that a lot of you guys can do. You can do it a couple at a time, too. Uh, because I was buying him a 32k on Snipe on some of them at the highest, and he was selling Insta right then for 38k. So that is one way that you can make some coins right now at FIFA Ultimate Team. All right, boys, I'll stop mumbling and talking to you guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.